All right, this is basically a test. I'm gonna start doing some videos on what I got going on inside my Ableton projects and probably making some beats and showing my process a little bit in a little bit more detail. So um, this is a sample of something that I've been working on. It's just, it's not finished yet, but it's just something that I put together a few days ago. So that's what it sounds like pretty much so far. It's real simple as far as the breakdown. I got the drums right here. Pretty simple drums, groovy. Got the kick drum right here, the rim. Now I got my hi-hats. My hi-hats are in a subgroup because I like to process those a little bit more specifically. I feel like hi-hats are really important. As far as the drum groove goes, they kind of move it forward and they're just they're really important so I like to treat them with a lot of detail um, you see I got four different MIDI tracks that are all pretty much different hi-hats and I take a lot of time doing those so I like to process those uh, with the drum bus and erosion you kind of see the erosion adds a lot more grit and the drum bus just adds some punch to it so that's the drums on the main drum bus, I have a Wolf compressor. I just started using this, so I just don't really know what I'm doing with it, but I like the way it sounds, so. And then we got the main grouping right here. This would be the keys, the pads, the solo keys, the ear candy, and the bass down here. So this is what that sounds like, soloed out. keys pretty much all my keys I use analog lab 5 if I'm not using lounge lizard this one's called beneath two ferns I really like the sound of it it's really smooth it's got a nice rose warm tone now I got different you know pads and got another pad over here this is probably my favorite part right here that funky uh I don't know what you call it, that funky synth sound. I call it a meow because it kind of sounds like it's meowing. That's probably my favorite part of the track. More keys. I have some little bits and pieces. I ran this whole thing through a, uh, a um, plugin called um, Fragments. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, effects fragments, and just kind of took like little bits and pieces out of the um, audio recording that I liked and added it into the background. I really like EFX fragments, so you should check it out for ear candy and whatnot. It's just a granular processor. Then I have some more solo keys. I got a box right here. I don't know where I found that, but. It might be, no, it's not me. Yeah, so. And then the bass, this is a birocratic bass. It's probably my favorite bass of all time. I've been using it for the past couple years. It's available on Splice. He has his pack on Splice, so. It's just one of his basses on there, and it's got the perfect tone. I love it, so. That's what that sounds like. And then I have a little transition bass right here. It's just a slide. I didn't play that, so this is, you know. Uh, bass that I played on the keyboard and transmitted over through MIDI. Um, and then down here I have, this is really important, it's just my atmosphere grouping, it's just tons of different noises. You can actually hear me counting in the background because I thought it sounded nice with the track and adds a nice ambiance. And then I got some rain, some, some more birocratic, you know, vinyl texture. This just adds a something to a track that I feel like everybody needs just a little bit of. Some people talking in the background. 
and some birds. You got to add some birds. And I got a little white noise transition. So that's what it sounds like all together from the beginning. Mm -hmm. 